Hi everyone, welcome to Fast Performance TV. I'm Claudio Encina. One of the things that I'm finding in this rising market, it's critical to have good, strong vendor management. Agents need to go back to the basic fundamentals. Agents I'm seeing today are lowering the standards in a rising market and not actually going back and having that process around the vendor management. It's totally, totally critical. The thing that I understand with agents is, it's common knowledge, but it's not common practice. So I just wanna share with you just some of the basic fundamentals around vendor management that you can implement today so you can have more successful sales down the track. So firstly, what's the number one thing you've gotta be doing in vendor management is have the set to sell meeting with your vendors. That's the meeting that you have prior to the first open for inspection. I won't go through the whole process of what the set to sell meeting is all about. Maybe attend one of my workshops or one of my training seminars. But what you really wanna do is cover a couple of things as if there's an offer in the first weekend, how to manage that offer. What should we do? You really wanna go through a couple of different scenarios if you get offers. Number two, the communication process between them of how they're gonna be you know, SMS after each, open for inspection or a daily phone call, whatever it may be. But very little critical bits. And the other thing that you wanna talk about is certain benchmarks that you wanna achieve after week one, week two, week three, of that campaign of the sale of their property. Because you really want them to understand that if we're not making progress each week, we're gonna to have to re-strategize and align ourselves to the market so you don't get to the end of the option campaign and it fails. That's tip number one. Number two is your vendor weekly reports. Yeah, we've all heard of them, but I'm seeing less and less agents do them today. So what I'd like for you guys to do is have the weekly vendor management reports going out, but also on the final week, you need to have a summary. Remember what I say, when you're gonna set that reserve meeting or set the price guide or whatever it may be, is if you were going to call, how would you prepare? You'd have your facts, your evidence, your social proof. If you wanna move people into action, have all of that together. And that's what's gonna get you a great reserve. The third thing that you wanna do is weekly face-to-face -face vendor meetings, highly critical. So part of your set to sell meeting, have some dialogue about setting up some vendor face-to-face -face meetings during the campaign of the sale. This will ensure that you have tight control and you know what they're thinking and what your recommendations are during the sale process. So make sure you have those weekly face-to-face -face vendor meetings for an auction and perhaps every fortnight for a private treaty. Finally, the daily communication process. You should communicate and ask your vendors what is their preferred method. Some people like SMS, some people like email, some people like a phone call, and some people like a fax. Did I say fax? Are we living in the past? <sighs> what are you smoking? I'm only kidding. So faxes, find out what their, their preferred method of communication. All right guys, I hope you've really enjoyed these four tips around strong vendor management. Remember, it's common knowledge, but it hasn't been common practice. Don't be the agent that lowers their standards. Remember, Stay in control, stay focused, and always stay in action.